We wanted to get away slightly from the dynamic that we've um, perhaps performed in the films that I've written with Edgar Wright, in that usually I'm the main character um, very much, and um, and Nick is my kind of like you know the the sidekick almost. Whereas in this film, it's very much a double header, um, and it's it's about two people. As you know, we're each other's sidekick in this movie. If anything, Nick's character is the slightly more dominant one in that he's more confident, more you know Graham's a bit of a wallflower, and it takes Paul to. To, to stop him from being that, but um, yeah, it's it's an it's an, it's been it's been fun doing it like that. You know, it's been fun playing it as a two-hander rather than me and my shadow. Uh, and Nick's really taken to it wonderfully. It's been it's been great. You know, I kind of wanted to play a little bit more of a, sh a shyer character, a bit you know, not so. Um, not not as sort of confident as Sean or, or or Nicholas Angel in the two previous films I've done with Nick. Um, but, you know, I, I'm just a nerd anyway. I, I kind of, I, I'm into my comics and my science fiction, so I, I know what it's like to, to, to obsess about things like that. And, uh, and so it didn't take much research, really. I just had to not be me so much, just be a bit more kind of, you know, Graham's very sweet. He's an innocent and he's, uh, you know, he's just a guy who's, who can't really function that well in, in society just because he's very shy. Uh, I met him on the morning Superbad came out, I met him in New York and we went out for breakfast and had a chat and I really liked him and uh, I felt like he was on our wavelength and that's just been proven right again and again, and particularly during the shoot, you know, because he's been extraordinary and, and it's been wonderful seeing him have so much fun and, you know, I sort of trot up to the monitor and see what he's doing and think, yeah, that's it, that's what, that's what we want. I couldn't have done it myself, but somehow you knew and, you know, he's very good at interpreting the script and he has thoughts and ideas which are always you know really valuable with Graham and Clive you know because they're not they're English in America so they are aliens as well and everybody in the film really or particularly the, the gang that Paul hooks up with are all in, uh, in their own ways aliens you know Ruth is Graham and Clive are for different reasons Ruth is because her belief system is so you know kind of strict it, it kind of sets her aside from and she hasn't lived her life particularly so they're, everyone, in some respect, is, is slightly alien, and, and that was a, a key factor in, in the writing, you know, it's just this idea of people not being where they belong and learning to live where they don't belong, you know.